Top line on the ice for the Wild. This is Tyroo with the puck. Tyroo. Defended by Goligowski. Moves towards the net. They score! Tarasenko. The Blues. Blue line and then quickly spinning off his check. Outstanding maneuver. And watch the pass across. Chapter 17-11, St. Louis. Blues with a 2-1 advantage. Now 3-1 on the setup from Cairo. Thomas on it for St. Louis. Thomas for Bucinevich. Now Cairo shoots. Save. Rebound. Score. 4-1 St. Louis. A power play goal for Barbashev. Around the keep away game. Here's Kyra, drops it off, takes the return pass, and scores! His second goal and fourth point of the period. An outstanding job again from Kyra. He started the play in the defensive zone. Beautiful give and go with Robert Thomas. And watch the shot. His pass intercepted by Duclair to Huberto. Huberto tries to get it to Duclair in front, they'll score! Anthony Duclair. He had four points in the first game, and he ends this one in overtime on a setup from Jonathan Huberto. And the Panthers will take this by a score of four to three. Yeah, Huberto scored the first goal from Duclair way back early in the first period. And now you had the flip side. This was some kind of sauce from Huberto to Duclair. And Duclair who's been on several teams, but recognizes that this is perhaps his last chance, and he has been deadly in Florida. He's been deadly against the Carolina Hurricanes. And once again, just appreciate the, the saucer pass, and then the wise decision, knowing how hard Lyon had to push from right to left. Jones has it. Midpoint, he'll give away for Kane. Penalty killers right back out for the Coyotes. Kane, his shot wide. Off the end boards, and they score in the break it. Goes short side on Vamelka, and it's a one goal game. He almost had one in period one. There's the shot off the board. Strom tries to bank it in, and it goes right to Debrinket. Far side, maybe even off the head of Vamelka and into the back of the net. The Brinkett hits that out of midair as well, just like Kirby Dock's goal. What a goal. Pasternak reels this one into the point. Cross rink to Grizzly. Work it on the perimeter, Marshan. And it's Pasternak to score. Grizzly straight away. Stumbling there with 50 seconds left. Marshan closing. Fires. Scores. Grizzly. Nudging into the zone, lets it fly, scores! Totally different team. He's really carried the mail here tonight. Taylor Hall, smooth skater, feeds. It's a top shelf rocket from Halla. Pass, it's picked off by Tom Wilson. Caught on the back check by Marshan. Marshan, Feathers, Smith closes. Pad save, out of check. Rebound, score! Cloud wins the faceoff. Severson looks, cross ice, top of the circle, moving in. Oh, what a stop! An outstanding save! And he sure can't believe it. Corpusalo moving laterally to Glovin. And he gets a great ovation from the crowd. Well, I think he sure was mid-celebration after that play. It was change of the point of attack to a team. Face-off win. And then a sell shot. And you're not going to get much better than that. Stretching across the crease. You can see how much of that net was open. And he sure stood up. Minnesota in games decided in the overtime, 3-0. And, oh, and here they're two-on-one. Zuccarello, Hartman, and a save by Bucalli. I did. Zuccarello was going to shoot this puck. He sells the fake hard, eventually slides it over to Hartman. But Bucalli not giving up on it, diving. I'm not sure if he catches this with the glove or the helmet. Oh, the blocker. He caught it with the blocker coming across. Boy, the wild. Healed that, kept in by Gerard. Not down low in front. A whack at it. Tave fired. Oh, how did that stay out? A brilliant stop by Jack Campbell. I think he caught this. He may have snagged this out of the air, and yeah, you are allowed to smile.
The Leafs decide to go high on the top of the blue line. And McCarr slides this across to Randon. This one goes off a skate, off a Campbell, and then the battle in front, off the right toe, and Taze blasts this thing, and diving across the net like Superman, Jack Campbell snags it out of the air. Now Nick Kyle Clifford trying to get it to Randon in front scores! JT Comfer and the Avalanche have tied it. Colorado getting in on the four check. They've got some energy in the building. They're going to dump this one into the Muzzins corner and they get in on the puck and they don't win the initial battle, but, but they win it when Kale McCarr comes down. You're not expecting the D-man to come down and then Randon's going to throw this one through his legs as they've got their lines all split up. He's moving that top line onto all kinds of different lines. And this is a behind the back, through the legs pass to Comfort and Simmons doesn't pick him up off the right side of the net, and he banks this in as Jack Campbell, I think, is looking to his left. Up to McCarr. McCarr holds in the corner, and now along the oh, half boards. Oh, oh, beautiful wheel around move. McCarr oh, shoots and scores! Colorado wins it in overtime. What a pirouette goal scored by the young defenseman, Kel McCarr. Are you kidding me? What a play by Kale McCarr. Watch the situational awareness. Drawing the defender in Kirby Dock, lulling him in. Erks! Jams on the break, cuts back, takes a sword the net, forehand, backhand, top shelf. Good night. In front to O'Reilly. That scramble. A shot wide. O'Reilly. He, he scores! scores! The captain is tied the game. Unbeatable. In the corner, after the Blues have a lot of territorial advantage right there, they don't get anything on the net. There's going to be a delayed minor penalty against the Dallas Stars, but instead Ryan O'Reilly bangs it home right on the doorstep after Braden Shen was there with that puck actively coming off the end boards, and look at the reaction of the Blues bench. And the Blues get it back in the goal books. Davich, now to Cairo, in front, they score! Cairo bangs it in, and the Blues! Jumping. The same turn of events that happened at Dallas yesterday afternoon against Pittsburgh. The Blues have turned the tide. Bending but never breaking in this game. And back-to-back -back power play goals. 28 seconds left to go in the game. A battle in the corner. Hawk and Puck hooks it around. It goes right to Cairo. Cairo plays it in front of the net. It goes off the Dallas Stars player and in the net. Keep your eye on the front of the net right here. Pocket paws, skate, shit pad, and into the net, no chance for Holtby. Two goals at 18 seconds. Think about it, we'll get to it a little later on as this telecast unfolds. Kuznetsov, great move, off the deke, oh, Bergeron playing goalie there, Un at the post. Unbelievable. And Smith, he's always been a gunslinger. There's the turnover, here's Kuzi, Allmark totally out of position. Here comes Bergeron. What a save by the captain. Who gets a pat in the head right after that by Drew Doughty. Here's Burns back with it again. To the other side, Timo Meyer scores! Sent him back on their heels right away. The San Jose Sharks do a terrific job. The key on this play right here is the movement by Brent Burns. All-star teacher or two in your life? Many. Mr. Gray is one that jumps to mind right away. Saved by Quick, and now Meyer scores again! Now that's the easy thing to say, but where? Well, Timo Meyer jumps in on the loose change. When they haven't had the puck <laughs> in their own end, I'm not sure. Here's Meyer again, and he almost had a hat trick. He still gets after it, and he's got it! A first period hat trick! It's one guy, it takes everybody. Balzers, Hurdle gets in. Look at the body position, Hurdle gets the kicks it out to Meyer. Meyer continues on. Tomas Hurdle. Shoot that thing, you got Logan right there in the perfect position. Far side, a rip by Meyer! That's four! Man, oh man, this kid cannot miss. Takes the one step and fires it. Short side up top. 
final half minute of the second period. It's Hurdle across for Meyer. Toe drag. He did it! Holy mackerel. Great drive skate to the middle by Rudolph Balzer. But... And Doriati Cody and, and talk to them and just get a little insight on what made them so great because Patrick Liney, having seen him up close several times, he has all the tools. In front, Chinnikov score! Yegor Chinnikov, second tuck of the night, and suddenly it's 4 0 Columbus. Outstanding anticipation. The Canes get really concentrated in their D zone on the right side, and they allow Chinnikov to walk right down the field like he just came here from Chapel Hill. Are you kidding me? Oh, Absolutely nasty oh, backhand toe drag. Goes, Highmore comes in for Vancouver. Now Mop, oh he scores, what a goal! Tyler Mop put it between the legs and roofed it past Vasilevsky. How about that for a skill move from Tyler Mott? And the Canucks are within one. And you see Vasilevsky, he's not liking it. But that Braden Point breakaway becomes even bigger now with Thatcher Demko making the save. And now Tyler Mott getting the Canucks within one. Fourth line, both goals for the Canucks. Lamico and Highmore creating the turnover. And Tyler Mott just couldn't get the puck all the way out to the forehand. And so does the Dipsy Doodle through the skates, through the legs. Boom. Would have been hard for him to draw it all the way out on the forehand, so he goes a little shorter route. Uh oh, some space now for the Canes. Jarvis in front. Yo, what a save right oh! Jarvis has it through the building. Two amazing saves to keep it 1 0 Columbus. Incredible save sequence by Elvis Merzlikens. Oh my goodness, was that filthy. Elvis Merzlikens reads this play so well. Here come the Canes with their speed. Using their speed coming down the wing. But watch Elvis. Top of the ring, Johansson. Goal line, Everly. Here's a chance. What a save! My goodness, what a stop by Marc Andre Fleury robbing Jared McCann. Wow. We're gonna mark this save down right here. Everlay passing it across, but the windmill save from Flurry gets the glove over there. Right there, the saves like that is why he's had such a Hall of Fame career. He has done that post to post move time and time again. Resets, the star is still on the attack. Pavelski settles, oh. what a save! Grubauer lunging to his right, robbed the hat trick bid from Pavelski. You've seen the movie Slapshot. This is exactly what they show in the movie. Goaltender under barrage. Boy, what an opportunity here. This could be one of the saves of the year here. Watch as he comes back right there, gets the blocker. Oh my goodness, a little bit of a giggle there from Pavelski. Oh my goodness, he had to pull it down. The puck was on end a little bit, and that's why he didn't get all of it. And he's like, ah. Uh. Kasha for bunting, and his skates comes out. Paul with a shot off the glove of Vimelka, looking for the loose puck. Oh! Oh! There! Kasha was coming in, Vimelka in the split. He gets his right pad on it, and the Maple Leafs get closer to the net, which you have to do. I didn't think they were close enough in the first. This wouldn't have happened if Vimelka gets that right in the webbing of the glove. That's the save I'm talking about. And this is one of those plays where you can hurt the old both knees right here. This has got two M MCLs written all over it, but somehow he manages to keep it out. Widespread stance from our AT&T 5G net cam, and then super. The Aaron pass by Klingberg, nearly picked off by Larkin. Larkin turns back in his own zone, getting away from Rope Hintz. Got the Jets going now. Dylan Larkin, right in! And he scores! What a goal by Dylan Larkin! The delayed offside to Dallas. And he just steamed down the left side, went through Klingberg, and went up off the right elbow and underneath the crossbar. Whoa. What a goal. What a play. And Larkin continues. Pavelski Sagan in front. Out midair. Robertson scores. What a goal! And with three and a half to play for the first time tonight, Dallas has the lead. Well, they can't stop scoring on the power play now that they've dislodged the 
situation they were facing where they couldn't score a, a power play goal on the road. Again, boy, that's deft hand eye from Robertson on the back door. The Sabres can't cut it off. Dell tried to whack it with the paddle of his stick, so he's laid on it. I mean, whatever they've tried to generate with puck movement, they've been able to do. Turns it back for Chicago. And now Taves working against Ben, drives in, saved by Kakinen. Could be the turning point. Taves blows around the defenseman. Capo Kakinen goes to the old S -S Scorpion play there. 2 2 game. Wrist the line in, shot, saved by Barbara. Is it in though? No. He put his blocker hand as the puck was sitting on the goal line. Here it is from the overhead camp. This one's through him as a goal unit. Watch him spin around. Oh, what a save. Incredible. And you know what's crazy about this even more so? He's had two hip surgeries. Mm -hmm. Double hip surgery as a goalie. For him to have this flexibility and range of motion and goalie gear on skates on the ice. It goes to the corner of Buck 45 left. Larson gets after it. They jam. Centered across. Look out. What a save. Philip Grubauer. Absolutely spectacular off to Claire. That was... Florida had ample chances, but that was the best one right there. Grubauer is able to slide across, get his glove on it. Duclair gets lost on the backside. Thinks he's got an open net, but Grubauer with the big glove save. Full extension, stretches out. Duclair does the right thing. He gets it up in a hurry, just not quick enough. My goodness. Hard proposition. Ryan Donato with a beautiful poke check by Gustafson who belly flopped it. Here's Dominic Kubelik. Shot score! Play starts way back the other end. It's the diving poke by Eric Gustafson and then all in one motion. Gets up. He doesn't stick in. Here's Quinn to the circle looking for his first in the National Hockey League. He'll this time spray it down low. Skinner snaps it across. Thompson to Darlene. Neat pass for Quinn. Walks in. Fire score! There it is! Now you're right, we talked about this young man's shot, and this is where he likes to take it right there. He goes short side right over the glove of Hopi. Perfectly placed shot. He's got the time, he's got the space. The shuttle one that's blocked away. Nemeth got a shin pad on it. Smash the cup. Thinking about setting it in front. To Niederreiter, they score! Oh, that's the magic! Watch the Rangers anticipate him going for the lacrosse move because they try to seal both posts. And that creates all sorts of room for Nita Ryder in front. That was all about them thinking he was going to try the lacrosse move. Schneider on one side, Nemeth on.